What's happening, my people? So it's your boy Chance Jollivet, aka Smooth, back with another video. So today, gonna be trying to do this album review real quick. So tomorrow is the Super Bowl and stuff. Uh, I was a little late with this review. It took me like two days, but finally got to it. This is Usher coming home. This is 20 songs. I hour and seven minutes runtime, man. So it's solid project as far as like the runtime, the amount of songs, like this about what you want with the album, man. We've been waiting on this for years and years and years and years and years. It's smart to, you're going to be doing the Super Bowl for you to drop it at this time. So that's smart on his part. A negative when I got into the album is, man, I'm listening to a lot of songs, man. And I'm like, okay, I heard that, 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 I heard that. So by the time you get to the album, man, and stuff, it's like, if it feels like I heard like half the album already, man. That's the first like negative. But Usher, he's a legend, been doing it for year many years since I was a little boy. And I'm old. So shit. He been doing it forever. So he's still at it, man. Still looking like he's 18 and stuff, man. Like he's still looking like a young, young dude doing his thing, man, at the top of his game, man. I ain't mad at him. But let's get into the album, man. And I broke it up into a few different parts. Like, they got his, his dance songs, his bops and stuff like that. A lot of, like, some of the bops, like, I, I feel like he channeled a little bit of Prince. Not on a lot of them. Maybe, like, on three of them or something. But, like, he got a solid little diversification of stuff. A little something for everybody. Me, I know what I like. You're going you gonna to see the songs that I like. But the little bops, like the dance ones and stuff, it's like track three, Eight Time Girl featuring Lilo. They got like an old time sample, like a old time girl, but it's Eight Time Girl. Uh, so they got that right there for the bops. Number six, Keep On Dancing. Uh, nine, Stone Cold Freak. Number eleven, Big. I don't like that Big record, man. When I was in, when I was a young kid, and when I went to McDonald's, I ordered Big. I always on it big. I'm like, that was so stupid. I was listening to that in the car and I was like, I don't like this. I'm like, this is stupid. <laughs> Tracks way up on the side. I'm gonna be that nigga on the side and stuff like that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 14, I love you. Like, a track like that, or I love you, you would think it would be like a more of a ballad or something. It was more of a bop or whatever. 17, Margiela. And then, like, some of the like, RB type joints or whatever. Like, it's still maybe like a little mid-tempo or something, but I, I put these in the R&B category. Uh, one coming home featuring Burner Boy. Uh, that's a solid uh, start to the album and stuff. Number two, Good Good featuring Summer in 21. And I would like this one more if I didn't hear it all, a million times already. Uh, track five, Kiss of Strangers. Uh, Ten, Ruin featuring Fields. Uh, Sixteen, Luckiest Man. So that's like some of the R&B. And my favorite joints, like this is this is what I want to listen to on the album, man. Like the ones that really struck me. Uh, number four, Cold Blooded. Seven, Risk It All, featuring her. And I heard this one a few times. They've been had the video and stuff, but I still love that record. Man. I love her. Uh, eight, Bop. Thirteen, I Am the Party. Fifteen, Please You. Eighteen, Room in a Room. Nineteen, One of Them Ones. 20 standing next to you uh that's Jung Kook but uh they got like a Usher version or something he might do that when they're the Super Bowl because this seems like that's gonna be a big record where well, I think I've heard that on the radio or something I swear that I could have or whatever but very dope record the first half of the record man half of the album is more of collaboration and stuff the second half is more like to himself and whatnot but not necessarily my favorite Usher project and stuff. It's solid, but he like it's a little bit for everybody. But like, what what you want on your favorite meal? Your favorite meal if you like Chinese food and that's your favorite food, but you go to the dinner and they got they got Italian, Chinese, they got seafood, they got oysters and octopus and stuff. A lot of stuff that you ain't really crazy about. So you gotta dig through to get to your favorite your favorite joints, man. That's kind of that's kind of how I felt about it. It's solid. It's something for everybody, but it's like not enough for me. I would give it a solid. I ain't gonna disrespect the legend. Anybody do a Super Bowl performance? I give it a seven out of ten. 
that's my thoughts, man. Just wanted to drop this real quick, man. I since I do do album reviews on the channel, I don't do them as much because people don't drop as much. And I'm not doing a Playboy Cardi albums and stuff like that. But anyways, so solid seven. Like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest and motivated man. I let you boy.